I've been married for eight years this month. And I've been a YouTuber for seven and a half of those years. And in about an hour, we are leaving for the hospital to have a kid, our first kid. It's forced me to look at my life as a YouTuber from a different perspective. I mean, if I'm going to be the, the biggest influence in her life, what is this little girl going to see in her dad? Kenzie and I waited to have kids this long because this career is so rocky and inconsistent. In our first year of marriage, we ended up being some of the most popular Viners on the entire Vine app. If, if you remember Vine, we did a like $15,000 brand deal and flew to New York and we were like, it's always gonna be like this. That's what we thought. And then just like a year later, we weren't making any money anymore and we had moved to LA and due to the increase in living expenses as well as some, some bad choices, we ended up being like $20,000 in debt. That was a hole that took us a while to climb out of. I remember moving back to Utah feeling like we had failed. But even though those difficult times shaped me and made me who I am, they made my work ethic and my financial responsibility, my little girl won't see any of that. She will only see the end product. And is this end product enough? It's just that everybody wants to be a YouTuber these days. And if not a YouTuber, some other lofty goal, like being a pro athlete or a business guru. Dreams have never felt more reachable than they are today. Kids get famous from their bedrooms by dancing in front of their phones. But as fame and fortune become the new norm, the parts of our lives before we reach those dreams starts to feel kind of like a waiting room. Kind of like your life is like unfinished like this isn't your real life yet. Your real life will start once you have a TikTok that goes totally viral or once you have a million subscribers. Then you'll be you. Then you can, you know, start to like yourself and, and start living. Look guys, I'm a strong advocate for dreams. Like dreams got me everything I have now. They got me this house. They got me my wife. They got me my talents. They, they definitely wouldn't have put all the hours into playing guitar if I didn't have dreams of one day being really good at the guitar. But I can promise you one thing. You will never reach your dreams because the more you accomplish, the larger your dreams get. It's a, it's a constant chase and they are just constantly moving farther away. I'm really proud of my accomplishments so far, but my accomplishments aren't the things that have made me who I am. They didn't make the man that will one day raise my daughter. It's the work I did before the accomplishments. It's the times that I failed, sometimes really bad, and ended up picking myself up and trying again anyway. Without the really low points, the successes would just be kind of empty and I never would have grown. I just hope that I can teach our little Lennon. That's the name we're tentatively going with right now. Uh, I just hope that I can teach her that there will always be new goals. You will never be at the end, and you're only at the beginning once. The rest of your life is spent on the journey. Learn to enjoy being there. <laughs>